What's up, YouTube? Reese's Pythons here. I'm going to do a little collection video tonight. I haven't done one of those in a while. So, let y'all know what I have and what I... Well, what I still have and what I don't have. So, uh... Let's just do it. Ain't no pause in the video. It's going to be a real uncut, just, just raw. So, y'all going to see all my movements and all of that. So, the first snake up is my female sugar let y'all see me in the video as well oh. sorry about that and I'm not pausing editing none of that but let's see if I put it this way y'all don't really get that the actual color of her as y'all see take them out and they go to squirming but this is my female sugar there you go up close say hello for the camera my female sugar doing well this is the one that's strictly on hamsters that's it she don't want to eat nothing else I've tried tried everything frozen thawed uh mice uh, frozen thawed rats, live mice, live rats. She ate an ASF one time for me, one time. And that was it. But I'm not going to show y'all my ghost girl because she's grabbing. She's huge. Uh, she should be dropping her clutch like on the 17th of next month. So... This girl here is in shed, and she's also big. Oh, my goodness. My black pastel girl. She's in shed. Eyes are blue. Looking a mess. Y'all might hear a little wheezing from her, but that's, that's the way she breathes. She don't have an aura eye or none of that. Real healthy snake. As y'all see, she eats. And everything. That's just the way she breeds. With the little wheezing. So. Before y'all call yourself bashing me or asking questions about her having all her eyes. No bubbles or none of that. That's just the way she is. As y'all can see, no bubbles, none of that. And she's saying hello to y'all. So. And it's only when you're handling enough. She have you can hear the weaseling because when she's still and when she's eating, she don't have that. Y'all can see how long she is. <laughs> but she's a real, real gentle snake. I love her. I love all my snakes, y'all. Uh, gotta handle her like a, a boar. And they do not like to go back in once you take them out. Come on, girl. Get back in your clothes on. All right. Let me put her back. So this might be a long video due to me not uh, posing with each snake. But it is what it is, y'all. So we're going to roll with that. I'm going to push the camera back a little more. See if y'all can see me better. Oh, well. And it seems like every time I do a video, the train wanna pass. Every time, never fails. This is my pastel girl that laid the Oh, a waste of water. She curled, you know what snakes, they curl their tail up and try to grab onto whatever they can grab on when you're picking them up. So she grabbed on, she locked her tail up underneath her water bowl and flipped her water bowl. And now she got water all in it. And yeah. I have to change up. But this is my pastel girl that laid my last clutch. Six egg clutch. The lighting is kind of bad. But I try my best. There's another one. She's also saying hello. 
And she's one of them. She's one of my snakes that does not like to be handled. I'm surprised she ain't hiss from me just just now when I was taking her out. But she don't like to be handled. But I get out there anyway. You wanna say hello for YouTube? Say hello to YouTube. Like the other one's dead. No, you, there you go. Say hello. I guess that's all y'all get. That's as far as y'all hello gonna get. She gonna give y'all. But she's back eating for me. Still on the on the small side. But she'll be alright. And I'll clean the water bowl. I mean clean our container up later. Once I finish this video. So the next sneak is I should have done girl boy, girl boy, girl boy, but I don't have that many females, so I mean that many males. So the females gonna outdo the males anyway. Which that's the way the world works. I believe in every family they have more females than men. Oh, look at she struck. At what? I do not know. But doesn't matter. This is my normal girl. Well, it looked like she struck. I'm not sure if she struck or not. I mean, just going in there and getting these snakes out of there, I mean, you wake, some, you, wake, you wake them up sometimes and then you scares them, so. And then, of course, you, they don't like you to mess with their tails, so. So I don't know if she struck or not, but if she did strike, that was her very first time striking. Very first time. But it's okay. As you can see, she's nice and calm now. And I wish I had better lighting. Where y'all can actually see these, see the, the actual color. But, like I say, sometimes y'all go in there, or we go in there, in the containers and just pick them up, scare them. So, that'll cause them to strike. Strike or ball up, either or. So, all right. Like I said, he never likes to go back in. Like she's fighting to go back in now. Well, not to go back in. All right. Let me put her back on there. I have one of my YouTubers, YouTube followers, ask me on one of my videos how I heat up my containers I heat up my tubs or tub of wear, whatever y'all want to call it I have a video I think I actually have two videos of me showing how I heat up my containers I mean I'm not saying you can do it this way this just what works for me the way that I heat up my containers I'm not about to get into it on this video because like I said I have two videos that's that's me, you know, telling how I heat up my container. So if you're watching this video, or if you so happens to watch this video, uh, just go, just scroll down through my videos and see which video it is that I show and tell how I heat up my containers. So this is my Candino girl. You gonna say hello to YouTube? I'm gonna turn your head around. There you go. Raise your head up. Hmm. And y'all see, you can't teach snakes how to listen. This is the one that gave me my very first bite since I've been into ball pythons. I believe last year. The day I bought her. Came home, picked her up. And she didn't strike and bite me. Just like she's swarming around now she just opened her mouth and just bit me I didn't feel like being bothered at the time that's okay she gave me a little bite early she trying to get back out alright 
I don't know if I'm keeping these out long enough for y'all to see them. I'm probably not because I'm just actually like running through this through this uh video for some reason. I feel I'm running through it fast. But female banana. I don't think y'all getting the actual colors of these girls. That's what I'm mad about. A lot of bad lighting up here. See, she really chill. Do not strike at my camera. Do not. That's you. You see you? All right. My female banana, y'all. So like I said, it's going to be a long video because I'm not going to pause and edit nothing. It's going to be straight forward. That's what this video is going to be. A collection video. And I'm going to tell y'all what all I don't have. What all females I don't have anymore. And once I finish with the males, I'll tell y'all what all males that I don't have anymore. So, all right, up next we have, I really don't know, but we are going to find out. Oh, Cinnamon Albino, she was in shit, but she's not anymore. She didn't came out of skin. Let me show y'all. Matter of fact, hey, how everybody doing? Y'all see him sweating? That's how hot it is. Yeah. It's 88 degrees in this room. There's a shed back there. And there she is with her pretty self. I don't even remember spraying her down last night. But there she is. I'm gonna still take out for y'all though. And she's another one that hooked her tail up. I need a water bowl and flipped it. But she's back feeding for me. She ate two rats for me last last week. And the week before that, she ate one rat for me, which was a hairless rat that I got from my rat burrito. So I tried up with that and she ate that. But I'm glad she's back eating for me. Look like her mouth uh is doing good, doing better, way better. And uh, she's looking real, really good. So I'm kind of happy with this girl. I'm happy, 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 happy. And it was a problem with her mouth. I can't even tell y'all what was going on. Y'all can see that. I don't know if y'all can see it, but the way her mouth is, it was, it was swell up some days. And some days it go down. So it caused her to not eat for a while. And uh I couldn't I couldn't even tell you what it was. It probably was from her getting she probably got bit on one of her feedings, but I don't I don't even think that was the case. Because this happened right after she, she dropped her clutch. And she didn't eat for me after she dropped her clutch. I noticed it after she dropped her clutch, so and that was a that was a clutch I wanted, y'all. I really wanted that clutch. It was cinnamon albino, which is what she is. Cinnamon albino to cinnamon albino. Uh, the ones that's following me, I, I believe y'all, y'all, y'all know. That was a clutch I was really, really hoping that went went good for me. But y'all know in the beginning of my season, incubation problems, bad eggs. It just wasn't working out for me, and that's why this this last this very first clutch that I got with this. Uh, super cinnamon and a uh, silver bullet and everything. That's, that clutch mean a lot to me due to it being my very first successful clutch. I didn't had, I didn't had so many eggs, and it's like my very first successful clutch as far as you know the eggs surviving through in incubation and everything. So this clutch mean a lot to me. So I probably hold on to this whole clutch. I'm glad it was just like three eggs, because if it was more than three eggs, I mean that'd be a lot of more snakes than I'm holding on to. But uh. I'm quite sure I probably would have sold some of them 
I just kept the ones that I really wanted to keep or whatever. But like I said, I, I might I might hold on to this whole collection. Well, this whole clutch, this this three A clutch. So and uh, but yeah, back to this girl. There she is. She said hello for y'all. But I'm out doing I'm out doing pretty good. I was supposed to be uh texting Brian Cusco about her mouth. Well, I told him about it, but I was supposed to be sending him pictures and everything a while back, and I just never got to it because I'm always doing something. But uh, because he was going through the same thing with one of his sneaks with his, uh, I want to say his retic, his retic sneak. And, you know, he was taking it, taking it to the vet and everything. But I never took mine to the vet. I just let it heal on his own. You know, and it's, it's doing, she doing pretty well. Like I said, she, she's eating and everything for me now, so that's good. All right, up next. And I thought she was in shed, but of course, y'all see, she didn't came out of skin. And this is the mama to the clutch that I just finished speaking up on, which is the 3A clutch with the super, super cinnamon, the silver bullet, and a little bit of runt. I'll show them too. Pewter girl, and she's also back eating, so have no problems with her. Say hello to the camera. Come on, girl. Say hello to the camera. Come on, let them see your pattern. There you go. See, there you go. There y'all go. You know, every time I do a well, when I do it, when I did do a collection video, collection update video, whatever you want to call it, uh, try to get them to lick their tongue in the camera, make it seem like they're speaking to y'all or whatever. But there she is, looking amazing. She's back eating for me once again, and that's good. So. If I don't sell them, most likely I'll be pairing up again. I probably, I might do that same pairing. So that way I can, I can sell all the babies. It wouldn't be my first, my first clutch. I might do something different with them, like throw my banana sugar with her or something. And try to get something out of that pairing. So I think that's what I might do. But she must have shed it out uh, last night or uh, this morning because the shed is hard. Can't nothing even wrap, can't unwrap it now. Sound like potato chip bag when you're unwrapping it. All right. And my last adult female I have. Yes, I said my last. I think she's she should be gravid as well. I hope so. My head pie girl. My head pie female. And she also says hello. Well, the lady I got her from, I had her since she was she was a baby as well. The lady I got her from, I done a trade. I had a spot nose and a pinstripe. And I was looking for a head pie or a pie to well, pretty much a head pie to uh, do a pie project. And I went on ahead and took the lady word. She said it was a 100% pie, head pie. And she knows she don't have a, the pie markings. But of course, you know, that don't mean anything. Just because they don't have it don't mean that they're not head for pie. So I went on ahead and took the lady word and did a trade and uh, Paired up with my pie mail, which I'll be showing him in a few in this video, in a few minutes in, in this video. See if she took and uh, see if she proved out to be head for pie. I know sometimes parents that you, the parents that you do with your snakes and what you what you look for 
out of that parent or in that clutch. You know, sometimes it don't happen on the first try. And sometimes people get discouraged when it don't happen on the first time. But you got to know that's just the way it is. You know, you're not going to get what you want every time. So you just got to be patient, especially with ball pythons. You really have to be patient with ball pythons. I mean, from the beginning aspect to the end. With ball pythons, from, from the beginning, from you growing, from them from in, them as a baby, uh, feeding from pinkies or, or fuzzes or whatever, you just have to have patience with ball pythons, period. They, they are animals that pretty much, uh, they make you have patience if you don't have patience, you know what I'm saying? If you want to be in this and deal with ball pythons for a lifetime or for, for a while or whatever, they, they make you have patience because you have to have patience with dealing with them. You know, you have to wait for so much when you're dealing with them. If you, especially if you're trying to breed or whatever, it's just so much. But I'm glad I'm into it. I'm glad I'm into the community. The reptile community is a beautiful community to be into. So next snake will be my male, the daddy of the clutch, male super cinnamon, and he's gonna try his hardest to wrap wrap around me by any means necessary what is his head his tail and that's why I always move my hand from his head or from around the base of his tail so he wouldn't wrap because he really use, uses you as a tree that's pretty cool though it's, it's alright but this is the, my super cinema male that's the fall delta clutch Let y'all get a little where y'all can see me because I know have most of this video is my head cut off. But that's not the importance of the video. The video is for the allow y'all to see the snakes. I'm not worrying about y'all seeing my ugly face. So this is him. My male super cinema. And as far as my females. Come on, get back in there. My females. Females that I don't have anymore is my special girl. My special girl, I don't have her anymore. And uh, I sold her. I sold her only because I sold one of the males that I was going to do the pairing to her with. I sold him. And I'll let y'all know, you know, who what male that was once I finish showing off my males. Up next, we have... Oh, pissing man. I kid y'all not. This snake has been pissing for the last three. I think he pissed three days in a row. So, if y'all have snakes that piss three days in a row, one snake, comment down below and let me know. Because I've never seen that happen before. And he also says hello. I don't think the Super Cinnamon told y'all hello. He's real rude at times. So, don't worry about him. Don't, don't hold it against him. But, uh, this is my pie mail. He's long, slender, slender and long. But this is the guy that has been breeding to the possible head pie. This is him. Yeah, and this video is long, 23 minutes. Oh, wow. I hope y'all have time in y'all busy schedule to uh, check out this video. Check out the whole video. I know I'll have all the music and and the different uh angles in the video. It's just it's just raw, it's just me. You know. That's a I have this pastel male, which is in shade. See I touched his tail. Pastel male that's also in shades. Y'all can see his blue eyes right there. I'm surprised he don't strike. He can't see nothing, he can only feel, smell. So he's kind of like afraid right now. And the camera is catching those blue eyes real good. He's deep in shade. Y'all see the ugly colors. So this is the folder to the clutch, the last clutch that I had. I'm gonna put him back so he can continue on getting his chill on. I'm surprised he didn't hiss at me when I took him out. Because they they gets a little cocky at times. All right. 
up next, the one and only banana sugar. Say hello. There you go. All right. This is him. Y'all follow him in on Facebook. Y'all seen I took a picture with him the other night. Y'all can see his colors. Camera catching it real good. See that, that dark spot right there. And got one right here as well. Got a few of them above. But there you go. The one and only banana sugar. Here's another one. Everybody inquires about. Somebody, I seen a text message today. I seen a text message today on uh on Facebook, I believe. Yeah, from from the pictures that I took on Facebook, asking me how much the banana sugar was. So, and uh, that's pretty much all my mails. To be honest with you, I only have four mails out of about twelve, thirteen females or whatever. So, my mail game is really weak. And out of the mails that I don't have anymore, I don't have the Candino mail anymore. I don't have the Blue Eye Lucistic mail anymore. Uh, oh, and the females, I don't have the Champagne anymore as well. The Champagne and the Special Female, I don't have anymore. And the uh, Blue Eye Lucistic and the Candino mail, I don't have anymore. So, that's the two I don't have in my collection anymore. So, on to the babies. And out of the baby, here is the baby baby. Uh, in the little hide. Her little hide, his little hide, whatever. I probably, I probably have, I know I have to get close with this one. Y'all can see that pattern. Of this cinnamon baby. Look like it's ready to eat again. Okay, two pinkies for me. Of course, y'all know that. I think y'all know that. Yeah, y'all, I think I put that on here. I'm not sure. I'm always uploading videos to uh, YouTube and Instagram, Facebook, so I don't know if I put that on here or not. But, here he is. Here he is, here she is, whatever. It's kind of small. I'm kind of scared to really pop this one because of how small the tail is. So I did it one time, and I kind of, kind of looked like a female. So I just stuck with that. Stuck with it being a female. So I'll put this one back. Come on, you just like your dad. I won't let my finger go. All right. And this little buddy here has been striking at my son. Silver bullet been striking at my son. And actually, my son said it bit him. But I don't know. I didn't see that. But I did see the strike because it struck at me too. But I like that little pattern that it has on the tail. And it is hot in here, y'all. Let's see, I'm sweating bricks. This is the silver bullet that my wife don't want me to let go. So, I won't be letting this one go. And the runt, of course my son don't want to let that one go. The little runt that I just finished showing y'all. And uh, as far as the super cinema, which is the next baby that I'll show. If it's a female, I'm not letting that one go. And this looking like a female. And none coming out, so. Go on back in there. All right. And last but not least, is the super cinnamon who came out its skin today came out of skin today and the camera is not really 
kitchen with the black. So, yeah, it came out of skin today. It ate first before it came out of skin. Before it shed, before it went into shed, it ate first. And it was just the opposite with the others. They shed first and then ate. But it doesn't matter as long as they eat. So, the silver, well, the silver butter hasn't eaten yet. I, I'm sorry. The silver butter hasn't eaten yet. It did shed though. It only struck at his food and didn't take it. And then it was like defensive strikes. So. And as far as this one, this one also looks female. So. So that's going to be the collection update, y'all. Letting y'all see all the snakes that I have and all the snakes that I don't have. So. Y'all comment down below. I know it's a long video. Y'all comment down below. 31 minutes. I think this is my longest video I've done. Comment down below. Let me know which one of y'all snakes, which one of my snakes in my collection was y'all favorite. And uh, I know I had bad lighting, so y'all really can see the actual color of the snakes. And I had a few of them or a couple of them that was in shade. So, but, you know, that happens. So y'all comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about the video. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. I know my head was cut off most of the video. I know there's some things that, I know there's some of y'all dislike up in this video because I know y'all like to see my handsome face. Uh, Just kidding, just kidding. But uh, yeah, y'all comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about the video. Hit the notification bell. Uh, Make sure y'all give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, let's talk. Reese's Pythons, I'm out.